Hey guys, Sonics here. Welcome back to a brand new hunt. This time you join me for my very first shiny fossil hunt here in Generation 8. I'm going to be hunting for a shiny Dracovish. Uh, a lot of people have kindly donated uh, their, <clears throat> excuse me, their fossilized Drake and fossilized fish. Apparently I chose the wrong game to play because it's super rare in this game to find these. So, uh, kind of interesting choice there, Steve. Well done. But um, I'm going to start this hunt. I'm really excited for this because I actually really like this shiny. And I will sort of explain why I like these Pokemon when um, I eventually get around to at least finding one of them. Although apparently this is really fast. The more fossils you have, the better as well. But uh, it seems the restoration was a great, great success. Uh, this is a Pokemon that walked the face of Gallic in ancient times. Somehow I doubt that. <laughs> but apparently it is shiny on this screen. So yeah, it's not shiny, so I guess I will cut the video here and join you guys back when a shiny Dracovish has appeared. See you guys then. Yes! Yes! Shiny Dracovish! Yes! Yes! Finally! Where did that go? Box or PC? Uh, sorry, box or party. Oh my god! Dude, why do I always get Shinies? Yes! There it is! Shiny Dracovish. Oh my god, I always get Shinies when I'm about to stop recording. This was the final, like, thing I was gonna do tonight. Final box. Well, final set of fossils. Oh my god! Oh, I love that colour. Yes! Shiny... Dracovish. Yes! Alright, uh, I need to just change my... I'm recording on a different screen, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna make a quick cut. Alright guys, I'm back. I uh, just had to make a quick cut there, but um, I'm gonna just pop this into my... Party. Shiny Dracovish. Shiny Dracovish, sorry. Uh, and that came after... Uh, I think I've calculated this correctly, 9,033 uh, revives, so a really long hunt for this game, honestly. I think I was due on though, because this file's been very, very lucky, but I swear, this hunt has been so boring. So boring. I'm not going to do one of these fossils again for a while, I don't think, but um, I'm just going to show it off in a battle very quickly. And I want to talk about these Pokemon for a second. Uh, I mentioned in my intro that I was going to explain why I actually like these Pokemon because um, when I was a kid, I really wanted to... Um, oh, I'm going to check the nature guess. I have some nature guesses. I think it is... Electric before. Impish. So shout out to Shiny Hunter Sand slash Mark, my friend. He uh, actually guessed that correctly, so shout out to him. Um, it does unfortunately have water absorb, and I don't think the nature is that great for it, so I think I'm gonna uh, nature mint it and, um, what do you call it? Nature mint it and, uh, what's that thing? Ability capsule, there you go. Uh, which I don't have yet, so I'm gonna try out some competitive, so. Um, show off on a battle. There's a normal Maractus. But yeah, uh, when I was a kid, I really wanted to be an archaeologist. Look at that. Nice. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. I love that Pokemon, man, honestly. I didn't like these fossils at first, but I really wanted to be a paleontologist when I was a kid. And um, if you're not too sure about these fossils, or you don't really know the origins, 
The reason why they're kind of messed up, <laughs> like a weird convolution of like, a weird concoction basically of like different things. Uh, back in like the, I don't know, 18th, 19th century, uh, British archaeologists used to think, uh, were very lackluster with the research and they would slap parts of fossils together and call it a day basically, go, oh this is a new species that we've discovered. So it's sort of like a bit of a take on that. Um, and I really wanted to be a paleontologist and archaeologist when I was a kid. Um, I've always been really, really interested in like historical and archaeological um, uh, research and so on and so forth, like dinosaurs and what have you, but um, I love these fossils. I know they're not the most like appealing things in the world, but I have to say, I really like the, uh, the color on this thing. You don't see gray and black. In a, in a Pokemon's color very often, quite honestly. Gonna show off in camp. This is hilarious, by the way, look at this. <laughs> I'll never get tired of this. Ah, oh, man, I, honestly, it's so cute. It really is. I don't care what anyone says. But honestly, that, that color is actually kind of rare with shinies. Um, the purple as well really goes with it as well, I think. On the head. And the mouth. <laughs> Honestly, these are so funny. I love these Pokemon. It's such a cool idea to have, and it's such a like an interesting concept. The fact that UK archaeologists used to, you know, just slap fossils together and say, "Oh, look, new species." Come on, come over here. And apparently, this thing is very. Oh my god, this thing is very good competitively as well. So. Seems a bit nervous. Well, I would be as well. Alright, so I'm gonna call it there. And I'm gonna show off in one more battle and then I'm gonna end the video. But yeah, honestly, I really do think these are some of the most interesting concepts that Pokemon's ever come up with. Um, there's a lot of Pokemon like that in Generation 8, honestly, that have like these little... small little tidbits of information, which just make them so much more cooler, I think. Uh, let's see. Okay, normal Helioptile. And Shiny Dragonish. Finally got my fossil. I can't wait to try out some competitive. I really can't. Alright, I, I guess I'm going to call it there, guys. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Good luck on your hunts. And I will catch you in the next video. See you guys then.